All right, everybody, welcome. Today is day one of Labor Day Vegan. Um, Carolee is out of town. She's at her father's house for the weekend, for the Labor Day weekend. And so I'm taking the advantage and eating all vegan all weekend long. Tonight, I'm gonna start off with a cauliflower steak. I'm gonna take this cauliflower and we're gonna turn it into a delicious dish all on its own. But first, we've gotta get the sauce going. We're gonna be doing a nice curry with this. So I got two burners going. I got the back burner. I just wanna keep this pan warm. So I'm just gonna turn that all the way down. And this one I'm gonna get up to about a medium high. In both of these pans, I'm gonna put a little oil. I'm gonna put a little oil in the back one just so it doesn't burn. We're gonna oil up the front one really good and we're gonna build a curry in here. This is, in all honesty, the first time I've made this. I've so the curry is gonna be really rich and really earthy and the cauliflower is gonna be kind of, well, it's gonna be earthy in, in itself and, and crispy and warm. And I don't have anything to play off of that. So I need some component that's gonna be, I don't know, a little tart maybe, a little tart, sweet and cool and crispy. So I'm gonna make a coleslaw to go with it. Um, and to that end, I'm gonna make kind of a coleslaw, like a, a tangy vinegar coleslaw. So I've got some raisins here and I've got some um, apple cider vinegar and I'm just gonna pour these together. What's gonna happen is those raisins are gonna plump up. They're gonna give their sweetness to the vinegar and to that I'm gonna add just a little salt, a little pepper, I'm gonna put just a little bit of ginger. I got some ground ginger. Basically, I'm taking everything out of the spice cabinet and using up a lot of old spices here. So I'm just got a little bit of ground ginger. I'm gonna tap that in there because I like ginger dressing. It's probably too much, I don't know. This is old ginger. And a little bit of garlic. So I got some chopped garlic there. This is gonna be a really garlicky dish. And so that's gonna be my dressing. I'm gonna make it now so that the raisins can plump up really nicely. And I've got, in this dish, I've got, uh, well, it was the, the recipe called for one medium onion and I just got, tomorrow night I've got a, I need another medium onion. So I just got one really big onion and I cut it in half and chopped it and diced it and I've diced three carrots here. So into the pan they go, it's nice and hot. We're just gonna get this moving around. These are gonna take a long time to get hot and cook and break down. And while that's cooking, I've got this here cauliflower and I'm gonna break it down. Now, the thing with the cauliflower that not a lot of people know is that cauliflower, broccoli, kale, uh, Brussels sprouts, kohlrabi, cabbage are all the same plant. They're all a wild mustard plant and it's been bred just like just like chihuahuas and huskies are the same dog, are the same species, this is exactly the same thing in this case too. So by taking the leaves off of this cauliflower, basically I'm making cabbage. And I'm gonna use this for my slaw. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, let me try it. No, I, no, and I've never actually done this. I'm gonna make, a cauliflower steak out of this. So basically what I want to do is I want to make sure that I got part of the stem in this. I might have cut that too far from the stem, let's see. Now we want about an inch to inch and a quarter thick. I think that's probably too thick. I cut it down a little bit. Okay, that looks good. All right, there's my cauliflower steak. Now the ears of this I'm gonna keep because on Sunday I'm gonna make some some buffalo cauliflower in the in the in the air fryer over here. So this is getting nice and soft. 
While this is getting soft, I'm gonna add my curry spices. So what I've got is, I sort of raided the pantry. Um, we have this stuff called Flavors of India seasoning salt, which is, it's, it's like a curry. It's, it's not really a seasoning salt at all. It's very curry, curry flavored. And Carly wasn't a big fan of this, but I really liked it. So there's, there's about two tablespoons left and I think I'm gonna finish it up in this because this recipe calls for two tablespoons of curry powder. And look at this goes on top because we're gonna cook this all up a little bit more. Okay, save a little bit for later. I got two tablespoons of, of um, chopped up ginger or minced ginger here. That's go, or ginger, garlic, minced garlic. That's going in. All right. Temperature could be a little higher. Oh, this smells great already. I'm not the ace at cooking videos like Kara Lee is, so bear with me. Hopefully by the end of this weekend, I'll be better at it. Mmm, this smells so good. Okay, the pan is getting a little bit sticky here on the bottom, so I need some liquid. And for that, I'm gonna start off with a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. That's just going straight in. And this is a lot of sauce. I'm gonna sauce up the top of this cauliflower steak with this, but this is a lot. It's way more sauce than I need, but I'm gonna be making leftovers with it all throughout the weekend. So you'll see me get to use this more and more. We've got one more ingredient to add. And that is, I got some coconut milk. So I'm gonna add some. I don't know if I'm gonna use the whole can. Let's give it a little bit more. Mm. I like it. All right, so we'll bring this pan forward. Ooh. That pan on the back burner, we're gonna turn it down to a simmer. This pan's getting nice and hot. I got my cauliflower steak. So I wanna season both sides of this. Salt and pepper. And this is just gonna go right on the grill. Salt and pepper this side. This is looking delish. I got my cabbage here. Now, this is the cabbage that I eat for lunch every day. It's just like Walmart tricolor coleslaw but it's pretty rough cut. I would like it a little bit finer for this purpose. So I'm gonna chop it down a little bit more. Like that. I'm gonna put it in this bowl. And to that bowl, we're gonna add our dressing. Those raisins are plumping up. Gonna pour that right in, raisins and all. Normally you would do this with a golden raisin for color, but it's just me. I'm not trying to impress anyone. And I'm just gonna let that sat in the vinegar. Let's see how this is looking. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, I broke off a piece. There we go. Let's turn this guy over. Now, I'm not trying to say that this is like a replacement for steak. It certainly isn't. And one thing, and one thing that I do not like about vegetarian or vegan food is when they try to make like fake, fake meat, like, um, you know, an Impossible Burger or something like that. Because I think that vegetables are great on their own. They don't need to be faux meat. Like, if you want to eat meat, then eat meat. Don't try to eat some fake burger. Like, 
I'm not trying to pretend this is a steak. It's, we're calling it a steak because of its shape generally, but this is a slab of, of cauliflower. There's no, no, um, <laughs> what am I trying to say? There's no, there's no assumption about that. There's no fooling us that this is some sort of steak. You need a little more oil. Cover it up. There's already a good amount of steam coming off of that, but let's just add a little bit more water. to steam it. I think let's finish this can of coconut. Now the recipe called for the whole can, but I didn't buy it. So yeah, I should trust the recipe. They always say, or I always say, mm, yeah, it's much better. I always say try a recipe as written before you start to monkey with it. Okay, the heart of this is still pretty hard. Flip it again. Well, let's try this piece. That's really good. I like cauliflower. I like cauliflower when it's a little charred. But that's great. So we're gonna be ready to plate here soon. Turn that curry down. Give it another taste. Mmm, yeah. I could eat that as a soup. Let's turn this guy off. Turn that one off. Let's plate this bad boy up. Okay, we got our coleslaw with the raisins. Just gonna go right in the middle of the plate. So what we wanna do is we wanna eat through the dish. Let's get our steak a little well done, on one side anyway. I'm gonna flip it, that yeah, looks nice. This little piece here off to the side. There we go. And let's go in with the curry. Oh, that looks awesome. Okay, that was a really fast cook. Like, I was really surprised. Let's try this now. Okay, we got some of the cauliflower, some of the curry, a little bit of the coleslaw, some raisin. Mmm. That's so good. The curry is rich. It's tomatoey. A little too, a little salty, not too salty, but a little saltier than I would like. I think next time, I don't know, try a different curry powder. But the coleslaw sort of evens it out. Like the sweetness of the coleslaw sort of mitigates it. The cauliflower is really great. Like it's done all the way through. I'm really surprised. I thought it wasn't gonna be finished, but it's definitely soft. I love it with a little bit of like, not char, but, well, char, that's what's on it. It's got a nice crust on it. I'm definitely gonna enjoy this. If you try it, I think this is gonna be a great weekend. I love the idea of eating vegan or vegetarian or, you know, vegetable forward. So if you try this, let me know in the comments. Give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe. If you like this and you want to see more, share it with your friends.